What's going on Wastelanders, I'm the Lone Vault Wanderer and I'm back for a second update video regarding Fallout 4 and all of the news that has been leaking around the internet as of late. The first update that I've got is a second tweet from Eric Todd Dellums, who if you don't know is actually the voice actor of 3Dog. Now I've got the tweet on the screen right now so you can see and it's entitled, Everyone Wants to Know, quote, is it real, is it official, end quote. All I can do is smile and he's posted another song. Hashtag share love, three dog, and four light dreams. So this is not, you know, saying that four light four is official or anything. To be honest, Eric Todd Dellums is kept as much as in the dark as anyone else. But presumably he's under an embargo at the moment and can only release selected things. Maybe he's just trying to portray himself as a, you know, a as a voice actor that doesn't really know what's going on with the series. But most likely, and more than more likely than not, he knows exactly what's going on because. If the game is in development, he's already been uh, brought into the studios to do some voice acting. And the second picture that I've got for you today is another one from the Tumblr site which has since been removed. It was literally up there for like 5-10 to 10 minutes. I managed to get a screen capture of it. And what it pretty much is, is just the typical grainy black background that they've had with all these pictures. What looks like to be a red Templar cross from the Assassin's Creed series, but it's probably just referring to a Jesus cross. And they've got some text there which is presumably... Uh, pronouncing Cavaldez. Now, Cavaldez was actually a person referred to in an earlier post on the Tumblr site before it was actually removed. And it was he was referred to as Johnny Cavaldez, and he was a target of some sort. Whether this was a target in the West Tech Research Facility when Roger Maxson, as I referred to in my last video, were killing all of the scientists, or possibly when they were detached from the American Army and after the radiation levels were safe, started to make their way over to the Lost Hills government bunker, and whether Johnny Cavaliers was involved there. We're not sure, but it's something that I've just posted there so you guys can debate about. Alright, the next two things that I wanted to post on is thanks to a YouTube user called Sunago. I'll put his uh, YouTube link in the description below because he's provided me with all this information and I'd like to thank him for it. So the first thing is this picture which is under the t uh, Tumblr site when you click on the Survivor post. And this is actually the San Francisco City Hall. Now we know that Fallout has had some interaction with the city of San Francisco in the past. It's been a city that was never really hit hard by the bombs and it's still been per pervasive, particularly in the uh, earlier Fallout 1 and 2 games. But what this, you know, significance this might have, we're not sure. All we can say at this point is that Fallout 4 is probably going to be a rendition of Massachusetts, Massachusetts sorry, because of the references to Lennox and Boston. But maybe San Francisco is going to be of some sort of significance in the game. We're not too sure. But again, it's simply food for thought. Now the fourth piece of content that I have, again from Sonago, is an official trademark. If you were to go to the website, which is on the link, uh, which is on the screen cap on the screen at the moment, it takes you to an official uh, registration office. And if you were to type in Fallout 4 into the search engine, you will actually get that it's been trademarked since the 14th of the 11th, 2013. Now that's only three days ago. The, the thing that I would say about that is that if Bethesda was indeed making Fallout 4, they would have registered Fallout 4 trademark a long time ago, otherwise somebody would have easily been able to take it. So I'm not sure about the legitimacy of this particular piece of information, but then again, it's just something to think about. Alright guys, that's all of the information I could gather regarding the Fallout 4 situation. Put your thoughts in the comments below and, and let me know what you think about all of this. To close the video, I will say that a lot of people have been questioning the legitimacy of the Survivor 2299 website and the Tumblr site specifically, especially because the latter has been removing a lot of the posts, have been using audio clips from YouTube videos, particularly the, the Victor Hugo poem that I talked about in an earlier video, and also have been extracting a lot of the stuff from the Fallout wiki. But I will say that Bethesda has been very, very quiet about this situation. You would think that if they were in fact making Fallout 4, that they wouldn't want some random person on the internet to be distorting their marketing campaign that they would be undertaking if they were in fact behind these sites. But the fact is they haven't said anything, they've been quiet, they've actually been asked about the situation by IGN and they haven't responded at all. So the fact that they're actually not saying anything might suggest that they might be behind this situation. If they were truly you know, wanting to promote Fallout 4 in their own way, why aren't they removing these sites? Furthermore, why is Eric Todd Dellums, the three-dog voice actor, seemingly hinting as to the potential of all of this? I mean, if Fallout 4 is underway, he as a voice actor 
would already be in the studio recording these lines. I mean, there's thousands of lines that must be recorded. Surely he's already in the process. So if he's releasing these leaks, then maybe the game's already underway. But until it's officially confirmed or denied, either way, by Bethesda directly, I'll still provide the content on these videos and still bring to you all of the updates from the Tumblr and the Survivor 229 website. And in any event, guys, it's exciting to think about. Whether it's fake or not, let's just keep talking about it. Let's just, you know, believe that Fallout 4 will be revealed sooner, sooner rather than later. Anyways, guys, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself.